uh, the day was not perfect for Jordan because earlier in the day, uh, he was suspended from Twitter. He remains suspended on Twitter right now. And uh, let's throw the image up right here. Uh, so here's the tweet that got him suspended. Now, I just want to clarify for uh, chronology of this thing. The tweet he put up there is on June 22nd. He was not suspended until yesterday, June 29th. But the tweet is, remember when pride was a sin and Ellen Page just had her breasts removed by a criminal physician? Jordan Peterson, a helium balloon who wished to be a real boy, used transphobia to get publicity for his new Daily Wire show. However, this video isn't about his blatant attempt to stir up controversy by stooping so low he found out the earth was hollow. No, this video is about the double digested bag of turds, Dave Rubin. This is Rebel HQ. I'm Sandy Lovas. Dave Rubin, a gay man so desperate to be a pebble in the boots of right-wingers, leaned so hard into transphobia, he pulled a muscle in his next life. His defense of Jordan is disgusting. Uh, so Ellen Page is the actress who transitioned and I suppose is now known as Elliot Page, and she had her breasts removed. I don't know about the bottom situation. Shut up right there. That was wholly inappropriate. In less than one sentence, Dave dead names Elliot, misgenders him, and what Elliot's body looks like is none of his goddamn business. For those of you who don't know, dead naming is when a person refers to a transgender or non-binary person by the name they used prior to transitioning, usually a birth name. It's often used by transphobic people to try and invalidate a person's identity. Now, Jordan obviously did not promote violence against anyone. Uh, he is a clinical psychologist and a world-renowned author and speaker. What does Jordan's profession have to do with what he said? Clinical psychologists, authors, and speakers, world-renowned or not, are capable of promoting violence. And what he said about Elliot and his physician is harassment. And with today's anti-trans rhetoric, does increase the chances of violence being enacted on them. Of course Twitter allows hate. Of course, Twitter allows people to say mean things and attack people and do all of that stuff. And in no way was Jordan instigating violence against anyone or or against Elliot or Ellen or anyone else. Ellen, whatever, whatever, or anyone else. Okay, Rave Dubin or whatever. Yes, Twitter allows for a lot of hate and for people to say mean things. To a point, they're a private company with a terms of service. Jordan violated that TOS. If you don't agree, take it up with Twitter. It's clear to anyone who doesn't have Jordan's boot print on their tongue that he did violate those terms. Dave is part of the LGB group. That's the queer equivalent to TERFs or trans exclusionary radical feminists. There are transphobic cis gay people who try to push trans folks out of the community. Dave being so public about it harms trans folks. Spewing hate to an audience that hates him but hates trans folks even more doesn't lessen how much they hate him. There are no redeemable qualities left in Dave. I just want to clarify for chronology of this thing. Dave was said to be on the left. He wanted more money, so he became a classic liberal. He moved to the right where there was plenty of money to be made by sellouts. Slowly, but not that slowly, he moved all of his values further right while accusing the left of doing everything the right does. He's gone so far as to indicate the right for him to marry his husband has had a negative impact on society. No matter how hard he tools for the right, they'll never see him as an equal. He'll always be a pervert, a groomer, a sin in God's eyes to them. That's the bet he made for himself. And I don't care how much money he has, there are no sheets he can buy that will cover what an embarrassment to humanity he is. For more of my stuff, look for me on social media's left of the box. Don't forget to hit buttons and leave comments. Thanks for watching, and until next time, get informed, get involved.